Oh, right. Storing home keep didn't turn out to be that bad, except for the distressingly dangerous uh, mini boss that spawned in the middle of it. Huh. Yeah, that was a thing. Still, four out of five uh, unlocks. That's uh, that's good by my standards, I believe. Yeah, oh god, Sheeta was a disaster. I can see why they gave me one star. We have the Trial of the Chiron Blocks or the Blimmer Cave. The Prisoner. The Prisoner. I'm curious. What if the prisoner is a party member? Because I am look I'm waiting to find out like when I get new party members, because I feel like we have we'll get more than like just three, right? Part of me even suspects that they'd fit right here in this open space here between these guys. The red piece priest used to be a joke, just a bunch of maniacs setting fires, bab babbling about a small deity called Ogmu. Ogmu? Now though, they're a serious threat. From Eroan Calthorn, leader of the Rangers, to Fiona. Subject, captured Ranger in Blimmer Cave. My second in command, Beryl, has been captured. He was coming back from a meeting with the druids when red priests ambushed him. The tracks lead to Blimmer Cave, an underground lair used by the red priests. We need to go into their dungeon and rescue Beryl. If the priests learn what he knows, the rangers will be all but finished. Story, mission, story. Hmm. The way things have been escalating, especially now that they brought that ranger in. I priest is working on him now. It won't be long until the prisoner gives in. Wouldn't want to be in his shoes. He should be thankful. He will witness the High Priest's knowledge of the sacred element of fire firsthand. Oh yeah, lucky guy. He'll be begging to tell us where the Ranger Camp is. We can finally put an end to those green bastards. Yeah. And soon after that, we mop up what's left of the druids. Imagine the looks on their faces when they realize. Ha ha ha. It's not funny. No, it's pretty funny. I'll tell you what's not funny, though. Being allied with that woman. Explain. In Ogu's, in Ogmu's name, we're unpredictable. Like flames. But her? She's pure evil. You ever look in her eyes? I swear she's not even human. She's playing a different game. Be silent. You should not question the High Priest's orders. What are you even talking about? I didn't question a damn thing. I'm just saying... Yes, you did. This is why nobody likes you. <laughs> uh, I don't remember writing being a thing in Grimrock games. There were some documents here and there, I guess. Hmm. But a funny feeling all morning. Like somebody's out there watching us. Nah. I'm just imagining it. Goodbye. Pretty. All right. Here's the plan. We get into their hideout, find the prisoner, get out, nice and fast. Who are we rescuing again? Beryl, Aron Calthorn, second in command. We meet. We met him. Oh, him. He's been captured by the red priests, as you know who they are. Oh, believe me, we've met. They've gone downhill. Let me tell you. I'm not entirely comfortable that you used to be one of them. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. When I joined up, they were wicked awesome. Wild parties, fun people, cool robes, great bonfires. Just a really crazy good time, you know? But they've changed. They were a bunch of semi-literate wackos burning trash and committing arson in the name of some minor deity. Agmu, he, uh, she, it, whatever. Agmu is their god. And it was light arson, like a reasonable, fun amount of arson. I admit I'm a little lost, but I'm pretty sure there's no such thing. Hey, listen. Okay, look. Let me spell it out for you. 
hanging out with a fun crowd, getting in trouble, consorting with minor divinities of dubious pedigree. I could get into that. Attacking the druids and kidnapping people, though, let me tell you, that was not in the brochure. Since we, uh, parted ways, they went and got this new high priest, and he's something else. Anyway, we doing this or what? Yeah, let's go. I enjoy this character. <laughs> what? Where are we? What? <laughs> That's not where we were at all. Alright. I guess here we are now. You just hang out with rats in your chamber, which those are big ass rats, by the way. Locate and free the prisoner. Protect the prisoner. Escort the prisoner to the entrance. Oh boy. So find them and then escort them. Probably behind that door. Yeah. Lots of bonus objectives. This is a big mission. Open all chests. Complete the mission without knockouts. Collect Steel Face's crate. So there it is. Yeah, I don't like my chances. It doesn't necessarily look that bad yet. It's just that I've never, uh... And I can't... I can't stress this enough. I've never succeeded a single time. <laughs> so it really kills my uh, impression of how successful this is going to be. How many chests do we... We have one chest here and then a book. And some pressure plates, probably involved in a puzzle, or... Or maybe they just make the fire... Maybe the, the dragon just shoots in the direction of the pressure plate? Oh, the pressure plate probably triggers the one that's next to it. Activates when a non-flying mob steps on it. Shoots a fireball, dealing three damage when the pressure plate next to it is activated. Okay. So, it's this isn't a trap. This is a triggering mechanism to attack with this. And so on. The person stepping on the pressure plate is the one uh, sending the attack at somebody else. And there's a lever. There's a crate. Spend an action point to use. Also, need to somehow get to it. Maybe I could... Oh, probably... Uh, I think I get it. Barrel of dynamite. Any amount of damage will cause it to explode, dealing five damage to adjacent squares. You know, no, no one in particular. I think that this is a self-inflicted challenge. If you want that crate... You have to teleport to switch places with him, which means that everybody has to then fight the centipede. I don't think he can cross the lava otherwise. At least that's my first guess. These guys aren't so tough, though. Skeletons are one of the, le one of the less threatening things in the game overall. These guys can't cover that much ground either. Okay. Self-shielding. Yeah, I need an attack. <gasps> awesome. Bonus move, because he destroyed part of the environment. That's bizarre that that works. <laughs> that just seems strange to me, but okay. I'll accept it. That means I get to cl get closer to the fight. I got some range on her. I imagine that in the equip screen I can rearrange these abilities to make more to be in an order that I like more. You can probably drag them around. Oh, are they not gonna hang out by the explosion explosive that I could never have triggered anyway? Huh. Dang it. Hmm. Yay. We have fun here. You have to be very careful where you click, because slight changes to your mouse will change the trajectory you take to your destination, which affects who will actually get damage in the process. And that's scary. Hey, guys. A little fire damage never hurt anyone, except for all the damage that it does. Don't think about it so hard, it's fine. A twang, and he dead. Hmm. You got more bonus movement left. And I'd like to take I'd like to take advantage of that. 
You might trigger that. Yeah. Should I think the rats are smart enough for that or not? I don't know. I'll stand over here. Just in case. And then shoot him in the face. With my force bolt that costs no ability thing to use. I mean, it doesn't use a, a limited pool is what I mean to say. I don't lose it in the process. And if I go here, you won't be able to reach these guys because you'll have to go past him. So that should keep them safe too. Because of attack of opportunity. And frankly, I dare you to give me an attack of opportunity. If they're all going around on that side, I can take that out with like one fireball. If I, if I play my cards right. Disease. Cannot recover health by any means. That ends in three rounds. Okay. I have to be sure about which one we're dealing with. Uh, you shoot this guy. Since it's such an easy kill. By any means. That means that that one won't, that heal won't work. So you can reach this. We'll have you open the chest. A scroll. Turn invisible for one round. When invisible, you cannot be targeted by enemies. And you do not perform opportunity attacks. Invisibility ends if you perform an offensive action. Free action. You can't be targeted. Nice to have. The downside of these items is that whoever picks them up is the one that's stuck with them. And sometimes they just don't have that much of use for it. Leave. Power attack. Whirlwind. These are fun things to have. I'll take a, I'll take an instance of cleave. Yeah, so it, it just straight up adds it. So I guess as you level up, you gain access to these abilities, whether you buy them or not, in that they become part of the weird pool that stuff like this can be applied to. So I take it this doesn't work either? Nope. Worth a shot just because his turns over either way. Okay, let's actually yeah, it doesn't matter if I trigger that fire or not. No one's there to take the hit. Okay. Yeah, they're all taking the long way around. They might change their mind right now though. Or not. Maybe they won't find me. Maybe they'll run up to the front door and then just be like, huh, no one's here. Oh, these crates. This is why, huh? Probably. But went. <gasps> oh, that's not a thing I want to find out about after I've used up everybody's actions. Oh no. That's just an all-around not not good piece of news. Uh, defend plus one bonus to armor and automatically attack the first enemy who moves into an adjacent square. Uh, the armor could help. Let's guard, because they're coming at me. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, they're splitting up. Shit. That's not good for my, my fireball plan, necessarily. Alright, so... I do three damage, he has four health, but he has one armor. So you can do two damage. You can do two damage. I guess that resolves it then. Get him. No reason to use abilities right now. If you'll die nice and cheap. Okay, I had to stay away from that barrel of dynamite. Five damage to adjacent squares. Let's just uh, avoid being adjacent. Although, if I can teleport him into being adjacent, that'd be great. 
In fact, that's probably going to be my plan. Yeah. Really no line of sight. <laughs> Constantly and always. Uh, let's not do that yet. Yeah. I can still teleport, though. But, uh... <laughs> I was tempted to teleport him around. I, mean, uh, I Well, I wouldn't have been able to anyway, because that's that just teleported with her. So that, that was going to be... Yeah, I can't do them in the same turn anyway. Ah, shit. Uh, I should have not done that. Damn it. I shouldn't have done that. And I can't undo it because I switched around away from that character. Damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. Because he already did his action, so she could have at least shot him. Stop that. They seem to not like the idea of getting into range of this thing over here. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Isn't that interesting how they seem to not want to do that? I find that interesting. No! <sighs> there we go. Just a bad, bad, bad turn for me. Thank God if we can once per turn be like, once per mission I can, I can undo a really bad move like that. Where I forget to do the AOE for example. So this should destroy all three of them. There we go. Ain't nobody left alive. Out of actions. And he's no longer diseased, so I can pick up this gold and this money. Isn't that nice? And you can haul ass, because you're really far away. <laughs> Maybe should have self-healed instead, I guess. Ah, there we go. Ah, uh, should save it. He's not that hurt yet. Not enough. But also can't... No reason to heal myself yet either. And they're not in range. I bet the I bet that the lever just opens up a way to get out of this, but I'm not sure. It'd be disappointing to spend a tr uh, an extra action doing it if all it does is make me move. Oh, did they just group up around this thing? Oh, you betcha they did. But I can't reach it. Two, three, four, five. Ah. Uh. <laughs> hey, 
And then they all died. Boop, 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 boop. All right. We're good to go now. I could even open this gate, which would be a bad idea right now because I got things to do over there. All right. I might still hang out over there. Yeah. Not like any new reinforcements are there. Nope. All right, so the good news here is I believe you can pick up this loot. Then you don't have an action for that, but then I can teleport with you. So now I can do both of them in one turn. So that's neat. Oh, it's pointless. Thanks. <laughs> cool. So I got the crate. I got the chest. Nobody's been knocked out yet. I haven't found the prisoner I have to escort, though, so this could get hard. <clears throat> Only one way to find out, right? Just, I don't have any reason to be in a hurry to open this door. So I figure I might as well take a moment to get everyone ready. Oh, hi. Stop them. They're here to free the prisoner. Ah. Barrel, ally. Why is he red? Like the bad guys? Oh, he's not. The bad guys aren't red. The right hand of a Rowan Calthorn, leader of the Rangers. In a previous life, he was a simple pig farmer from the southern parts of the forest, but times change. Speed of four, one damage. Uh, is it because he doesn't have a weapon? Probably. Oh. They appear to be summoning reinforcements, and there's two of them behind us. Great. Get ready for that. Oh, right. Because opening the door uses your entire turn. That's kind of rough. I guess I'll just start firing. Uh, I could have boosted his defense. Yeah. What's this one again? Invisibility. I'll save the focus, because then I can do... I can attack, th attack three guys next turn. <clears throat> the great news would be if he tries to move and then he gets hit by an attack of opportunity style move. That would work for me just fine. Fire. Oh no! They have the full-fledged fire spell. Ah, rats are fine. What is that? It's... oh, it's Ogmi. You're a nightmare, aren't you? Does three damage, no armor, only five health. Speed of three, range of three, fire absorb. Flying, can fly over pits and low obstacles. Non-melee, does not perform opportunity attacks. Unstable, explodes on death, dealing five damage to adjacent squares. Shit. The origin of this abhorrent creatures are shrouded in secrecy. It is said that they see everything, and not all their eyes watch outward. They have a penchant for lethal mischief. Opportunity attack. When moving away from a square adjacent to enemies, get a free opportunity attack. Oh, it's just telling me that these guys will attack me. Hmm. Huh. This guy does not have opportunity attacks. I think I want to commit to killing these two.
Let's see how much I get done with my focus attack. Focus. And fire, fire, fire. My fire, my magic missile. Ah. Uh, being able to go get that would be nice. But you need to die first. There we go. Yay, he exploded into money. Into a confetti of money. A confetti of money. I did good word have. Think. Make. Break. Brain. Dead. Okay, they all died like instantly as it turns out. So that's nice. Extra action point means I can use this. Power attack or shift. Let's get power attack. Okay. Probably want to get busy with the whole let setting him free thing. So I'll do an extra move. And spend my action doing this so I don't have to spend an entire extra turn doing it. Thank you. If their high priestess arrived before you did, I don't even want to think about it. Let's get out of this rat hole. Feral joins the party. Hey, he's got a generic portrait and maybe it doesn't seem like he's going to be around very long, but I control him, so that's neat. Is this a mistake? This might be a mistake. Okay. Oh, he has a heal. He can revive somebody or heal somebody by one. Uh, he has five hit points. That's something. Bash. Ooh. Plus three bonus to damage. That's nice. He can only do it once, but it's nice. He does one damage himself. And he can do a sprint for an extra turn. Yeah, so he can, he can do an extra move and he can do an, uh, one burst of damage, but normally he does one damage and he kind of sucks in general. Great. Uh, let's have you go ahead and open the chest. Found men here shards. So what does it do? Remove all harmful conditions from yourself or adjacent creature. If there are no harmful conditions to remove, the target recovers two hit points. He's a good person to have a healing item to use on anybody because he won't be doing much of anything else. All right. So we're doing really good, like the best I've ever done. If I can just reach, if the prisoner can reach the entrance without anybody dying in the process, then I win. This is not a bad situation to be in. Things are going okay. Now let's book it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He spark, blaze, flare. Inferno! Ha 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 Well, well, look at you, and here I thought this was going to be just your average torture session. No one's getting tortured today. We're leaving. Rowlin? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't that Fiona I see there? Well, well, looking good. What's up? The forest got too boring, and you wanted to visit an old flame? I get it. I don't like where this is going. What did they do to you? Do to me? Oh, Fiona. Honey, no. It's not what they did. It's what I did. What I did was leave. You were asked to leave. Yeah, they kicked me out. That whole druid thing, all those rules, it didn't work, did it? Vartan going on about the mask. Once accepted, it may never be removed. Ugh. You realize I was supposed to keep it, Eve on, even in bed? Ridiculous. No. That was never going to be me. Varden cared about you. I cared about you. Yeah, you all cared so damn much. You cared just as long as I stayed whipped. Well, now how do you like me now, Fiona? You attack the circle. You killed all those people. You're not the Roland I knew. Yeah, well, that's kind of the point, honey. I'm not Roland. I'm Mad Eye, and I'm goddamn beautiful. <laughs> it's not the writing I expected, but I love it. Oh no! Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> love this part. I'd love to stay and play some more, but I've got business to attend to. Oh, he's gone. This Final Fantasy-ass music. 
plague rats, and gelatinous. Man. <sighs> it's not good. He does three damage, has zero armor, speed five, fire immune, cold weak. Flying can fly over our pits and obstacles. Grinning like a maniac grinning like maniacs, these winged devils dash at their enemies, whirling their red hot tridents in deadly patterns. Fuck. He's got so much movement speed. have to save him it's uh it's kind of rough that you you step over thresholds and like surprise big things happen the game's a little brutal with like opening the door uses an action meaning that character can't do anything this turn and stuff like that or just having like situations like this where if i waited one more turn everyone would have an action and i'd be and i'd be way safer right now but because i didn't wait one more turn i'm like kind of in deep shit at the moment everybody's actions are kind of spent already and this guy's gonna come after me. So one, two, three, four, five. That is his maximum move speed. So if I step away from that, he won't get me. But I can't necessarily do that. I mean, she can kind of take it more, I suppose. There we go. So you're not going to take the hit. She probably will take the hit. He shouldn't be able to take... Uh, shit. Okay, fine. Block the path. He can still do it. Will he, though? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, cool. She attacked, he attacked the closest person. Not doing great. <laughs> <clears throat> All things considered, not doing great. Now we can switch you back in. Hmm. There's three damage, so I don't have to do any special attacks. Just hit him. No armor. It is re refreshing not having to worry about dice rolls. And they won't reach me this turn, so that's good. So that's finally to the big heal. I probably- I should have used focus. That could have healed two of us. Which would have been kind of better. Alternatively, I can heal with this. There we go. Thanks, healer bro. Oh, uh, range of five is not good news. I should probably break line of sight. I don't want him hitting the spellcaster either. Yeah. Gotta watch for all these guys coming in. The rats aren't the biggest threat. This guy's the worry. But it's, if I can get around the corner, I'm in a better shape. He has one action. Oh, so he can run for it. 
So he broke line of sight, so you should keep going then. And you can heal someone. Isn't that nice of him? Yay. I do like everybody having a little heal skill so that if you have an, an extra action, you get rewarded for having that skill point. I mean, that ability, that action point sitting around. I don't know if he'll be able to shoot anybody now. Oh, he's gonna shoot somebody. God, he has range. Okay. My hope, my hope is to fight the guys that are ahead of us and run from there. Oh no. The high priest was right. They're trying to rescue the green cloak. Stop them before they escape. Fuck me. That's not good. I don't know. What's that? No. It's a void haunt to revive the bones. Oh, it's going to be hard to get through here without dying at all, huh? A skeleton boss in a void haunt and just showing up, huh? Shit, so much for my clean escape of running towards those two rats. The music in this game is fantastic. Uh, I probably want to stay put and fight these guys instead of running forward now. Because when I figure out what side they're coming on, I can run around them. There's no time limit in this level. Oh, there might be reinforcements over time, like always. Yeah, probably. Usually how it goes. Yeah, because if I if I run from them, I'll be f I'll get stuck fighting these guys because these guys are not a quick road. They're not a quick like speed bump. And then while I'm fighting those guys, these guys will come up behind me. So cleave will do three damage. I could do power attack, but it'll only do one more damage. Right now, they'll both they'll each be able to get killed by one attack after this. Ooh. That's interesting. Yeah, get that heart. I haven't moved yet, so I can use this. Lightning immune. I deal four damage. Whoa, five damage. Four damage to targets within five squares. Why is it why is it doing so much? Hmm. Uh, either way, I wanna get my hit in. It's not gonna kill him, so I don't think I wanna waste my limited use thing on him. Your Mendes melee only range, so yeah, I can't use it on the other guy. I'll get a little closer, but I want to break. I don't want to enter the range where he can hit me, so I'm staying behind a wall. Yeah, you can't. There's nothing for him to do. Don't run away from me. Rude. Oh, please all go north. Yes. Oh, they're resurrecting the... Yep. Yep. No, stop going that way.
There we go. He's dead. Uh, actually, you should self-heal. Let's have a little hugging match. They're coming. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ugh. It's gonna be how many reinforcements? Fuck. Ah, this game's hard. You're just gonna casually summon three more guys and also revival those guys? Okay. I wish I had more of my AoEs. Crap. And these guys nullify my ability to heal. They're just good news all around, really. Uh, like, they can all attack on the same turn, so that would just be a torrent of damage coming at me. Well, if they're all gonna come to the south side... I should try to bait that. They're gonna spend another turn coming towards me. Party is fully healed. Next turn, we're gonna make. We're gonna head out. I just, if they're gonna turn around and go south, I just want as many of them as possible to start committing to that direction. Because I need, I need to be able to run with them kind of being behind me. My best chance is the fact that there is a central, pivotal direction. Shit, they're splitting up. These guys are going south, including the void hunts. But this guy is, yeah. And he knows fire spells. These guys need to be AoE'd to do real damage. I need to do real damage to these guys, because if they get a single turn, I'll get diseased. And I don't want to lose the ability to heal. That's bad for me. So he is melee only, and he's melee only. Red Priest has a range though, so we need to focus fire him when he comes out because he could attack anybody, making him threatening in another way. I'm nervous, partly because I'm doing well. <laughs> And I'm like, no, let this be the one where I nail it. Uh, this is why I need to make it around the corner so they can stop taking pot shots at me. They don't do a lot of damage, but they're getting me. Yep. Here comes the goddamn horde. 
I'm hoping to keep attack the f level design screams that they should hopefully all be running this way to get to me. I hope. And if that happens, then I only have to deal with these three dudes. Hopefully. These guys are fire immune, three damage. But this is the big threat, because he has ranged attacks. It's kind of all over the place, threat-wise. I need to get out of the way so other people can go by. Do power attack. Then deck this dude. There we go. Got him. Yes. Oh, I, right, I gave the bonus damage to this spell. That's weird how it says gem damage plus one at the bottom instead of just saying five. It's like an extended tooltip thing. Yeah, not enough to kill him though. That's too bad. That's too bad. Fuck them. Hi there. I'm here to help. Hooray. Break line of sight before they shoot me. Because <laughs> she's going to get shot again. Actually, no. We have some more movement here. I'm just kind of worried that moving too much will lead to a situation where the where the AI redirects. I kind of want to let them think I'm still on the right for one more turn. Yes, keep going right. Yes, no. Ah, oh, one of them's going backwards. Still, the individual archers only do like one damage each. Shit. Okay, so we need to make sure that you die, so... Done with you. That was a misclick. That should be about as far as I can make it right now. I'm trying to make him move as fast as possible. Because <clears throat> I need him to be able to get to the goal. You're the last one with an action, you have an attack. Let's have you heal him. I mean, the faster he gets to the goal, the better. I'm a little worried about him being ahead of the group. Not that ahead of the group.
Yes, they're still coming up the wrong side. Alright, so the skeleton boss is not a problem. These guys are probably going to redirect, though. Yes! Oh, that right, that's why. Because he's not so much a combatant. He more wants to revive every single enemy, and there's so many of them. Enjoy the bonus armor. He should be very hard to kill now. <laughs> you don't step on that pressure plate, that would be bad. He can attack that. To so go right there. Hmm, not quite there. Really, nothing to do with your action this turn. All right. We can do this. We can do this. We got this is going well. Unfortunately, I think his d oh hey, that's ranged. Unfortunately, I think his Overwatch type move only works for one action. He's still reviving dudes. Yeah, these guys should hopefully never reach the fight now, because this guy's going to be sprinting for the door basically. Whoa! Not great news. Uh oh. God, he's so close. No, he's so close. Agony. The moment he arrives there, we win, I believe. I just need you to book it now. Focus version... That just revives everybody. That's not really relevant to me right now. She's just gonna run for it. And heal by one. And hopefully the archers can't make it in time. Hopefully there's uh, enough line of sight blockage that they can't do anything to her right now. You just have to stand here. We should win the moment the next turn starts. And there should be no knockouts. And I should have su finally successfully done every objective in a mission. Please. This game does not slack. These are... These are really carefully crafted st strategy levels. Like, they're brutal. But like I... But as brutal as they've been, I haven't, like, lost yet. But I also definitely have not been able to do the, sec the extra objectives. But he will... He'll get away. I guess I should get any amount of experience I can, right? Betwam, three experience. Three experience. Six experience. Escape! Ah! We did it! That was a long one. What? 
It went from what? I don't understand. I don't understand what this means. It went from one out of five to two out of seven. What does that mean? Why did the maximum go up? Uh, <laughs> I really, I really thought those red priests were gonna torture me to death. I owe you one, friends. I don't think I'm ever gonna understand what this thing means. I don't know, I'll look it up at some point. I'm sure. Or people will have told me. I'm still playing before the- Right now I'm still playing before the first episode's gone up, so... Maybe someone's pointed it out. That's really weird feedback, though, for the player, right? It went from 1 out of 5 to 2 out of 7? Why is the maximum going up? Why is- Why is it- This needs a tooltip for when I- Like, where I highlighted it and it tells me stuff. Wait. I think that's my current money in gems. Is that what it means? That's not a great feedback at all. Because I just got plus 50 and plus 64, so I could see that, which is over 100. Because I, I think I had less than 100 before. Now it says I have almost 200, because I just got over 100 just now. So I think I now have 196 GP, and I have seven gems total, two of which are unused. I think that's what that's saying, but anyone with the, any level of sanity would be thinking that that's how well you did this mission somehow. So that's why I only have like one out of however many each time, and the, and the right number keeps going up. Okay, I think I finally decoded it. Weird. It should be like total, like it should say like current money and total gems and stuff like that. I don't know, or just don't include it here. It's we have the. I'll see. It, I'll see it in the next screen in its normal context. Oh well, I won. I maximum won. <laughs>